Hi, I'm Lynn Langett, and this is a short video on how to use the knowledge base aspect of data quality services in SQL Server 2012. So there are three different ways to work with knowledge bases, and when we're doing those, we can use an included knowledge base, we can refine an included knowledge base, we can create a knowledge base from other source data, or we can manually create a knowledge base in the DQS client by just typing in the information. So let's take a look at the three different ways. So you can see in the DQS client here, we've got the knowledge base management. So we can do work with a new knowledge base or open knowledge base, and the recent ones are listed. If I click on the little triangle here, you can see that I can do domain management, knowledge discovery, or matching policy. So for the purposes of this short video, let me just start with a new knowledge base. So I'm going to call this a demo for video. And I'll just say morning demo. And I can start with a blank uh, knowledge base, or I can build a new one based off an existing knowledge base or import from a DQS file. So I'm going to use an existing knowledge base, and then it shows me the knowledge base names and the domains in the knowledge bases that I have. So I have DQS data, I have a, a, a version of that called My Geography, and then I have a different one I was working on on programming languages. So I'm going to go ahead and use the DQS data that's included, and then um, I can have one of three activities. So I can do domain management, which is um, provide metadata about the domain, and I'll go a little bit more detail on that in just a minute. Knowledge discovery, which is match some other data to it and um, work with that data um, to add it or remove it or whatever. And matching policy it has to do with duplicates. So find, uh, find duplicates. I'll probably make three screencasts on this because um, there's enough information in each of these topics to take about five minutes. So I'll start with domain management um, and I'll click next. And while this is going here, you'll see that the domains that I have to work with have to do with geographical places. And this comes in the included sample, so countries, regions, that kind of stuff. I do recommend starting with some data that you know really, really well. So um, uh, use the geographical data if you don't have anything else. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while this is coming up, and then I'll start it again. So here I am inside of the domain management working area in DQS. It took a minute because I'm working with RC0 bits, and they're still not quite as optimized as RTM bits. So you can see for each of the domains, so you know countries, um, you know cities, states, so on and so forth, I have a description, I have the data type, whether or not I'm going to use leading values, uh, normalize the string, if I could formalize the output to uppercase, lowercase, capitalize, language, and then if I enable a spell checker. So then I can um, work with reference data here, which is third-party data, like Windows Azure Data Mart or some data feed, and you configure that in the administrative section. Um, and then if I had that in here, then I could match it to this data. The next section is domain rules. So if I want to add a new domain rule, I can just call it test, and then I'll make a test description. And then country region length is equal to five, for example. Now I don't know if that's right or not, and I can um, uh, make that rule uh, uh, checked as part of this uh, process. Um, and then I can uh, add the rule, delete the rule, so on and so forth. So now if I want to run it, and this might take a minute, so I might need to pause the, the video. Um, and inside of here, I would just say I want to test this information. Let me just close this off. And then we have domain values. Um, so over here, I'm going to go to the domain values. And uh, there it's telling me that my rule would invalidate my data, so I'm going to say no. I'm going to go back and delete my rule go to domain values here and uh, I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to domain rules because I'm running out of time and say that in the domain rules you can run the domain rules and then you can see the results and then go work on domain values and term based relations which I'll show in the next video and this is Lynn Langett more at www.lynnlangett.com